something. Well, <laughs> the weather will be ideal again, as in dry, with unlimited visibility. And you go ahead and make your own weather to, uh, to attach to that. Uh, we're pretty much clear right now. I want to show you what's going on on the satellite photo around uh, Metro Vancouver, the Fraser Valley. Less extensive marine cloud than what we saw at this time yesterday. Looks pretty good. I'll pull back and show you where the cloud is and whether or not I expect it to so show up around here. West coast of Vancouver Island still heavily shrouded in cloud. Northwest Washington, lots of low cloud reforming. There's a very subtle shift in the breeze. We talked the past couple of days about that ridge rebuilding offshore. Well, now it's beginning to slump across towards parts of the interior, and it means that that inflow along the Strait of Juan de Fuca, the Strait of Georgia, it's a little bit reduced. So we won't get as much marine air today, and maybe not as much tomorrow either. It warms up accordingly, looking pretty good in all of our local districts, including the Fraser Valley. How about a summary 26 degrees in that sunshine for this afternoon? Nice and mild and clear through sunset into the evening as well. Metro Vancouver, which yesterday topped out at around the 20 degree mark, well, today about 23, looking nice and sunny through the second half of the day. I think tomorrow a little warmer than that. 25 degrees downtown for the last afternoon of June and a promising uh, forecast for the first weekend of July as well. Temperatures in the low 20s, a mix of sun and clouds Saturday, Sunday. We've been talking about this hedge on a slim chance of showers Monday. It's in your forecast, but it's really a slim chance. No measurable rain for several days yet. Okay, Kyle's